Well, I think another question that Fred kind of brought up was your obsession with malt, because I, if you have a lot of things going on, I kind of want to dive in just to what's your fascination with, because what Cave Hill uses both a malted barley and a malted wheat, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So kind of talk about why you wanted to go with more of a, a malted approach on, on some of these grains. Well, listen, one of the reasons that I got excited 10 years ago, 12 years ago, was that within the parameters of what constitutes bourbon, so you got 51% corn, you know, new oak barrels and so on and so forth. But can it There's, be malted corn? Uh, <laughs> I've actually, I've actually seen malted corn before. Uh, M- MB Roland uh, had like a little uh, experiment where, where it was malt. It was, it was wicked. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was weird. Just had to. It ask. was like, it was like growing yeah. like little legs. It was, it was weird. <laughs> but you got fifty-one percent corn, forty-nine percent magic. That's the way I see it because you got so much room for experimentation. And to me. You know, malted grains, it's like having different, it's, you got a whole spice rack. You got all these different ingredients to play with, different flavors to the bring. So there's the culinary reference for me that's really exciting. And I think that's one of the ways bourbon is different from scotch or Irish whiskey, where we got a lot of room for creativity. And that's what's exciting. You need to make a t-shirt that says 51% corn. 49% magic. It's in the works. <laughs> yeah. It's in the works. So one of his, one of the malts that he's like really becoming famous for is the chocolate malt. Yeah. Where did, where was your, uh, what, what was your, take us through the discovery process of chocolate malt because I, I first tasted that in Irish whiskey and saw it used in, uh, in Europe quite a bit, but no one really played with it in the United States. So where, where, where's the, where'd that love come from? Well, you know, th- it, it wasn't specific to chocolate per se, but in any given month, we're tasting probably about a dozen or more different malted grain samples from different maltsters. And it just happened that this goes back to those early years because I laid the, those barrels down during contract distillation. And um, and I was actually talking about this, that part of the inspiration came in from uh, Derek Bell, uh, reading his book oh, yeah. um, and looking at those great recipes. I think Derek was probably one of the first guys, at least from my reference, that really started using different types of grain configurations. And for me, that was the beginning of that light bulb moment. And it drew me to take a look at different malting facilities and what are they doing to be able to bring different flavors to the forefront. And it just happens that, you know, we were playing around with uh, sweeter notes and how can we bring some dark chocolate notes and that's the direction it went. 